This is the last video that I'm going to do on the general term of an AP. You will find this on page 47 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. The fifth term of an AP is three times the second term and the third term is 10. So it's a little bit more information. But let's just write it down in short. The fifth term is equal to three times the second term and the third term is 10. And now basically I'm just filling in everything in. So I fill in the 5 there, there's the 3 in front, I fill in the 2 there and I do the same. And again I form two equations. Why? Because there's two variables A and D. I solve it simultaneously, can you see? And then I find the first term and to find the common difference I just, okay, there's the common difference already. The common difference is 4. So find the first term, there's the first term, the common difference I already found it's 4. And then find the 15th term, I just substitute the 50 now in and I get 58. It's just a little bit more information. But still I will have two variables. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number 1. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start with number one. Number one. The second term, okay, the second term of an IP is seven times the third term. Okay, so the, it's seven times the third term. And the fifth term is negative. 5.5 okay again I'm just going to draw a line again there just to help me and don't forget your formula for T for the um, let's just get the pen correct the general term Tn equals a plus D n minus 1 okay now I'm just going to start substituting it so I don't know a so I can leave it in white so it's a plus I don't know D, but I know it's the second term, so it's 2 minus 1. I can actually already just write 1. And it's 7, okay, and I make the bracket. Oh, it's too long. So it's A plus, and in the place it's D. Okay, let's just get my D. I think I must just make this line. Let's move it a little bit. <clears throat> I'll put it at the end D. D and now it's 3 minus 1 and then I put that line so it's going to be A plus D equals 7 A plus 2 D Fourteen D, and if I simplify this, <coughs> I'm going to get um, I'm going to get my negative six A, and if this one comes over, it's negative fourteen, so it's negative thirteen D, and there's nothing, there's not a constant, so it's zero. Okay, this one I can simplify this one, so it's again going to be A plus, and now I'm going to oh, let's rather write it just like five minus one. And it's negative 5.5. So it's A plus 4D. It's negative 5.5. And again, this is my first equation and this is my second equation. And I'm going to solve it now simultaneously. So, solve <clears throat> equation 1 and 2. So, more okay and now I'm just going to say it's going to be negative 6a minus 13d equals 0 uh, and what can I do I can just multiply with 6 that one okay but so let's just say 6 and it's going to be a plus 4d 
Okay, and if I do that, I'm just going to rewrite this one. And this one is going to be 6a plus 24d, and that one is negative 33. And if I simplify this cancel, so this is going to be 11d and negative 33. And if I divide 11, 11, so therefore d is equal to negative 3. Okay, so for, okay, now I must still find the first term. So I substitute. Uh, which one will I take? Um, I think take this first one. I like that one. Okay, <clears throat> so it's going to be negative 6a minus 13, and it's going to be negative 3 equals 0. So negative 6a, and it's going to be 39 plus 39. So negative 6a equals negative 39. Let's just move it up a little bit. So if I divide by negative 6, negative 6, so therefore A will be 6 and a half. Okay, so number A, I can even say, oh, I have to move up still quite a lot. So A, the, the first term is six and a half. Let's see number B, the common difference, the common difference, that's D, is negative three. And now I'll find the tenth term. So I'm just going to say T10 equals A, I put in A, six and a half, plus d, it's negative 3, and it's 10 minus 1. And that's going to be 6 and a half. Um, that is going to be 9 times, oh, 9, so it's negative 27. And it's, the answer is going to be negative 20 and a half. And if I really want to imp, I can say, therefore, the tenth term is negative 20 and a half point. And that's my final answer.